Given the attention span of most people today is unrelentingly small, you simply must have a way to grab your share of attention and be able to do it quickly. Great, but how? Hi, I'm Mike Nally of KnowYourMind.com. The first and probably the most crucial part of dealing with people you don't know especially today, is to gain their attention. And by attention, I mean something beyond a cursory glance or a nod of the head. Now, if you are unable to grab and keep someone's attention, you will be unable to gain agreement, sell to them, nor motivate them. So how do you give yourself a fighting chance to sell yourself? First, take a step back and look at the situation you face today. If attracting and holding attention is the secret, particularly in a business context. Why has it got so tough? Well, information is virtually exploding onto your inner theater, and like any big bang, it is remorselessly gathering momentum. It never ends, 24 hours a day, non-stop. So take a look at some of the distractions staring you in the face and demanding your time. It's an information minefield there are more TV channels than ever before, more magazines than ever before, more web pages than ever before, more social media than ever more, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn and so on, more mobile phones than ever before, more ads than ever before, more traders than ever before, more authors than ever before, and on it goes. Only the fittest can survive this information and knowledge onslaught. Charles Darwin would nod his head in complete agreement. The challenge is to make your selling process, your pitch, so magnetic, so clever, that it becomes impossible for people not to notice you. It is imperative to have a strategy for gaining your share of attention. You will be unable to get a yes or a no unless you have skin in the game. So what does a strategy provide? Well, it provides a means towards the end of gaining your share of attention so you are in a position to make an offer. A strategy is something you devise and ultimately you control. Once you have a strategy, a blueprint, you will know what action to take. So what will take center stage in your plan, your strategy? Well, one important piece, perhaps the most significant piece, is branding, your personal branding. Now, the right branding will project you into the hearts and minds of a specific tribe of people, a tribe that needs your expertise. They will link what you have to offer to their own particular needs. So without you, they will not be able to prosper. So branding is one of the keys. The initial task is to use the power of your mind, your creativity and your rich imagination and stop for a moment and think about your personal brand. What can you do to make it different, unique? Why should people spend and give you their attention? And what else do you need to think about? More on this next time. Thanks for watching. Go to knowyourmind.com and let me know where I can send you something I believe will be of benefit to you and advantage to you. Remember, you have many faces, many skills, many talents, and many attributes. So why not put them to use? Spend some time, think about your personal brand. How can you make it more appealing, more attractive, more compelling, and draw people towards you? Make it so magnetic, they simply cannot ignore you. So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.